Every year, hundreds of visitors come to La Brea. They come to visit the Pitch Lake, famous since the time of Sir Walter Raleigh, who in 1595 used the tar from the lake to cork his leaking ship. The drive is long, hot and uncomfortable, and from a distance, the lake looks like a round, empty car park. But in spite of the initial disappointment at its dull, seemingly lifeless expanse, there are many rewards in store for the visitor who cares to take a closer look. The surface, although quite soft in spots, is safe for walking. Its dough-like texture and wrinkled appearance testify to its dynamic nature. Small pockets of air and gases bubble merrily or ooze slowly out of the black mass. The upwelling pitch sometimes pushes long buried objects into view. Occasionally, fossil bones emerge. One might expect that in such an unstable, somewhat toxic substrate, with temperatures soaring throughout the day, few plants and animals would survive. But many do. Towards the center of the lake, conditions are at their most harsh. Grasses and sedges without the benefit of soil push bravely through cracks and manage to create an environment in which many animals are able to live. Rainwater pools support a few plants and a number of associated animals. How these fish manage to stand the temperatures at midday is anyone's guess, but they certainly do, and in large numbers. Even some larger predatory fish like these leaf fish survive. Large dragonflies or batty mamzelles lay in these pools confident that their larvae will find food in the shape of other insect larvae, crustacea or small fish. The nymphs are difficult to find, but their cast skeletons testify to their abundance. While the insect larvae prowl along the pond's bottom in search of prey, these water striders keep to the surface. The incredibly hot conditions are for some reason favored by the ospreys, which are fish-feeding hawks. There is nothing for them to catch in the pitch lake, so they collect fish at sea and dine here in the shimmering heat haze. As one approaches the margins of the lake, conditions are suitable for a wider variety of plant and animal life. Again, grasses and sedges predominate, but also some strikingly beautiful water lilies. These support additional life, both beneath and above the waterline. Ducks and grebes swim among the flowers, Gallinules dabble around the edges while jacanas step lightly, supported by the lily pads. At the edges of the lake, where the pitch merges into the heavy undergrowth, the character of the flora and fauna changes. Trees with new leaves attract a variety of insect-eating birds, while the abundant cashews draw others. Altogether, the Pitch Lake offers a rewarding destination for its interesting geology and history, but particularly for its wildlife. And is it worth the long, hot drive to La Brea? Most certainly. <laughs>